Now I'm Drupal R no longer. So uh, I just want to let you know, I just created something with a uh, partner with Wrigley's. You ever hear Wrigley's, the gum company? Hello, anyone here? Yes. Uh, and you ever hear of uh, Wrigley's, the gum company? Yeah. Well, I just partnered with Wrigley's and I just created Bipolamin gum. And I have some for you right now, so I'm not gonna hurt you. Bipolamin gum, it's out in the street. Oh, watch out, I got one for you. Bipolamin gum, I got some for you. Hold on, I got one for you. I got one in the back, watch out. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt you, it's on the streets right now. Bipolamin gum, so now you too can have the taste and the feel of having bipolar. But don't worry, each stick comes with free hospitalization, ECT treatments, and permission to run naked in your local shopping mall. I've done that three times. Show up, ladies and gentlemen. And I got schizophrenia and gum coming out next week. Now, let me talk, talk about bipolar, okay? They say that having bipolar, anybody here has that bipolar? Oh, come on, you do have it, you're just not saying it. Well, anybody here has that bipolar? They say that having bipolar is really bad. You've heard that, right? That having bipolar is really bad? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Since I've had bipolar, it's been great. It's been great. I focus, focus really well. I'm really creative, really creative. And I have an incredible long sex drive. I really do, I have an incredible long sex drive. I have to drive 60 miles to see my girlfriend. <laughs> sex drive, come on, wake up ladies and gentlemen. Ay, ay, ay. Now, thinking about internet dating sites, anybody here been any on internet dating sites? Ever hear of Match.com? You're married. What do you raise your hand for? <laughs> Match.com? You've heard of Match.com, right? You've heard of that, right? Yeah. Well, they have a new one called MatchMD.com, and those are for people that have mental disorders. So on the normal site, I find a woman that has blonde hair, blue eyes, and likes to dance. But on this other site, I find a woman that pees a lot, has mood swing problems, and anger management issues. You know what? I'm in love. Yeah, I'm in love. And we're going unsteady. Get it? Unsteady? Oy vey, I'm not going to do the whole joke that way. Now, uh, anybody here is married, or used to be married, who still might want to still get married again? Anyone? Let me have a raise of hands. That's it? Oh, well, good luck. Uh, but the point is, marriage is an amazing institution, right? Isn't it? Marriage is the most amazing institution. But my marriage made me go into an institution, and I got the toilet bags to prove it. So my ex-wife used to spend all my money on expensive things. All my money on, expensive th on really expensive things. She would spend it on her Mercedes. She would spend it on my jewelry. She would spend it on my funeral. Heck, she even planned the date. That's a little cute, okay? <laughs> Whatever. Now, here's one for you, you got. This is a good one. You heard about all the different types of undergarments and diapers for elderly people? They got all these different names. They got one called Poise. That's a good name. Then they have one called Always. That's a great name for an undergarment. Then they got one called Depends. I don't know about that one. Is it working? I don't know. Depends. I don't want that under my push. I thought that would be a little better than the other one. All right. Now we're going to go for the clincher. They do have, if you don't know, chewable Viagra. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. They have chewable Viagra. They have chewable Flintstone Viagra. So you do, do you want to have a Barney or do you want to have a Fred? Okay? So they do now have chewable bubble gum, bubble gum Viagra. Did you hear about that? They have bubble gum Viagra. So what they can do with bubble gum Viagra, they now have bubblicious Cialis. Bubblicious Cialis. So when I'm with my woman, I'm in my bed, and she goes, are you ready? I'm going, I'm still chewing. <laughs> really a good joke. I don't know where you're going on that one. Now, they have different types of doctors. Now, some doctors you might want to go see and some you don't want to go see. Well, if you have an ED problem, I think you might want to go see Dr. Dick Boner. Dr. Dick Boner would be a good doctor to go see. If you're a woman and you're going to see a gynecologist, I don't know if you want to go see Dr. We Spread him. I don't think you want to see him. And for a proctologist, this is the oldest joke in the book, you don't want to see Dr. Bend over. Yes, that's an old joke. And of course, the vasectomy of all vasectomies. If you have a vasectomy, you don't want to see 
Dr. Fondleman. Dr. Fondleman is not a good doctor for a vasectomy. And the last joke, very simply, is do you know what they call the operation when a woman wants to be a guy? Do you know? It's called an 